G'day and welcome to the Infernos. I'm Execute, joined by my partner in crime today, Agarit. Hey, everybody. So you came... Apart from being tired, like you. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Well, you dressed for the occasion, got all dolled up for the RSI links RSI today. RSI day. RSI day, mate. Yeah. How did you it's find the you know, commercial? Probably. We just we just watched that beforehand, didn't we? Oh, that, that, was, that looked like a, a, a massive amount of uh, effort was put into that, uh, that commercial. Very, mm. very, almost very relaxing and... As you said, first time I've heard a song. Yeah, I haven't so heard vocals before, so they've either purchased one or had one done. But either way, I don't know. It looks like they spent a bit right. of money on it. And uh, something else I noticed and someone else as well did was that a lot of the shots were in pyro, which mm. was interesting too. So it was interesting to see as well. Well, we've known for a while that pyro is done. We're just waiting for mm. server meshing, as I understand it. So yeah, in a sense, it's, it's not a bad thing. It just means they add more polish so hmm. all right kicking it off to the browser so we can get on this one because it's going to be a big day today um, big day the first thing i'm going to point out is something that we normally don't point out at the start but when i loaded in for the first time it and i've had this checked by other people the nova came up as a war bond and now the upgrade yep. is actually the aquila so i'm going to take a bit of speculation here but take it with a grain of salt tomorrow might more than likely be the Nova. Now, yep. that may work with the Ballista one from the day before, but, you know, just uh, uh, put that in your change accordingly. This one is not as good as the one that we had the, uh, the day before, because the, um, sorry, mm. earlier on in the week, and I'm trying to forget the, uh, the, the Eclipse one, because the Eclipse one was $5, and this one is, um, I've got an Australian pricing there, but it's $15 American. So you're paying more, saving the same, but, paying more so the eclipse one's the better one to get because it also gives you room to um more room to move into other chains so yeah if you if you've already got the eclipse one skip this one um yeah but yeah all right agrid uh tumbrel um do you want to go straight into the storm before we go through the individual ships is that um yeah look why not uh, since uh tumbrel is the first manufacturer for rank so let's yep. just do the storm since it is tumbrel yeah so Few little things that took me by surprise. I honestly thought you that I was hoping that you could lie down on this. Clearly you can't. Uh, but also on that note, our good uh we've already found that they have got some shit out of date already or not updated stuff. So right here the gun says precisely laser repeater, but then here it actually mm -hmm. says energy auto cannon that is made by Hurston. Yeah. And it is clearly not a, a, a a uh, laser repeater that we've seen before so i'm leaning more towards the energy cannon but someone didn't up the spec sheet again so this is like the um i can't remember which ship it was but the one earlier on uh i think about six months ago can you remember which one it was i've just had a total blank uh Ooh. on what that was but there was uh, yeah, it was the spirit the spirits is what it was the spirits i remember now so yeah mm -hmm. um it's as long as the legionnaire is high uh, so it is is essentially almost it's basically a large vehicle from what I can make out, but it's obviously faster and nippier. Um, and I I was saying now it is really cool to see Hurston being this weapon manufacturer and kind of expanding their repertoire. I I, yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, it was interesting that that some people in our in the chat I can't remember who are saying, but aren't they a mining company? <laughs> um, and you'd be must, and you'd be could be forgiven for mis for thinking that Hurston are a mining company, but their history is actually a weapons manufacturer. They started off making defensive weapons, defensive platforms to protect stations and stuff. And mm. um, so yeah, that, that I find interesting too. It's actually got internal weapons, so you can actually get out and go on foot if uh, things don't go to plan. Um, man, I really want to know some more about this. I like I, I I'm. Like visualizing it like I did was I I, I saw this as the way they described it going past the line and killing artillery. So they also confirmed artillery, but that energy mm. weapon I reckon it's really high damage and short range, kind of like a shotgun, but for a vehicle. Um, but we'll see. Um, what do you think of the price point, Algrid? So it's essentially seventy seven dollars with um Australian. both skins. I think that might be Australian, but look, I have to go confirm just so we're on the right. Yeah. I keep changing it back to American, but it just keeps, um, yeah, here we go. It's on Australian. So yep. it just keeps resetting on me, um, even though yep. I keep. So it's, it's $70 yep. um, US, but 77 is a $10, a 10% mm. Aussie GST. Um, so let's give that a refresh. Uh, Buyer's tax, I suppose. Um, mm. 
Uh, $70 doesn't really surprise me. I was expecting uh, the Ursa to be 60 Yep. Um, um, 55, you know, it's mm. 55 warp on, which will be 60 bucks. Yeah. So that, that it's, it, it fits with where I was expecting it to go. Yeah. So. Yeah. At the very least, if you're concierge, pick up the skin with your credits and melt it off. It then removes that limited availability. I, I'm in the habit of it now. I don't know about you, but I buy like five of them now, melt them all off. And then there are people that come back later and are like, oh, I want one. And I just sell it to them at cost. So, you know, if you've got the yeah. credits there, it's only a hold for 24 hours and then the limited is removed. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Um, is there anything else you want to add to that? Because they don't really kind of go well, into any detail. I'm sure we're going to want to hear more on this. Um, yeah, it's it's basically well, we know, a blip. We thing. know that the yeah, we know that the uh, Tumbrel is an old design. It's an old company from Tavar and mm. War period. They went to funk. They were basically rebought out. Or someone bought the copyright to them and relaunched mm. the company to you know resell the stuff. Um, like that one. And then they've kind of updated it a little bit. So it's kind of old designs. Mm. So it may have been awesome in the day. How good they'll be in the modern world that is yet to be determined yeah. but it's nice to see a Hurston weapon yeah I'd love to see a Hurston weapons yeah all right i think we'll leave that and we'll uh head back to yep. tumble itself then all right so the cyclone series i'm going to try and group a lot of these together because um a lot of them yep. are variants so um we've got i think there's five of them in total Agrid. no one, two, three, four. Yeah, four of them. So, yeah, your take on the Cyclone series, and I guess uh, if you want to give me a favourite or if you, you know, something you don't like, tell me about that too. My favourite's this one. I think this is yep. the best one. Um, but you, you tell me your thought process. Um, I like the RN one. Um, I, isn't there a racing version as well? Yeah, that's what I... But it's Invictus. That's what it is. That's why you don't have the racing variant. I so, thought there was five, but yeah, I was just trying to figure out what no. it was. But yeah, go ahead. The AA version, I'm I'm not a fan of because it's Agreed. just missiles. It's like, mm. what's the point? Um, this one replaced basically the, MT, the other two, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you're getting the MT, you've got the gun and the missiles. Why would you get the other two? Like, yep. Which is, um, yeah, exactly right. Um, I like the RN because it, it just looks nicer but the thing i've never really liked about the cyclone is it's an open cab yeah it's a good little um, scouting vehicle though and, the, and i think that's where this will come to shine the ability to kind of yeah. go in and the normal cyclone um is not here either i've just rea realized our grid like just the cyclone yeah. is not here because that's not military either and that's the one that's got the the cargo on it so 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 to me they're yeah. the three best three variants just the normal cyclone the rn and the racing and then the mt yeah. and the tr and the um aa drop off because yeah. of the mt but yeah, yeah. um yeah, i think we'll... it's probably a really good one to get compared to all the others just because it is small it does mm -hmm. give you the missiles for aa and also yeah a gun that said, they are all in game and very cheap to earn right now. So I, I think yeah. both me and Alg would say you don't get any of them really, realistically. Um, yeah. Yeah. The Nova. Um, I believe this is in game now too, Agrid. So what's your, what's your thoughts on this? I mean, it's a tank. Yeah, it it's pew -pew. fun to drive occasionally, but I, I I've never really been much of a fan of 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 tumble to be honest. Yeah. It's their little vehicles were too small. They yep. were out act open to environment. Mm. So, you know, someone in our that, that someone in our Discord chat yeah. put it very well themselves earlier. They basically said there's not enough gameplay for them there at the moment. And you can tell the reason they're making them though is basically mm. so they can, you know, they've got small things that they can knock out pretty quickly. So yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. So yeah, for me I, they're I all that's the problem with they're all learning game. Like you kind of alluded yeah. to. I, I think that's a problem with the Nova as well. Like it's Nova Tank. Mm would be great if there was things to actually use it for. The only thing to use it for is PvP mm. kind of matches where you kind of arrange to go there because um, that would be mm. nice to see that. Yep. Um, so this the rangers. The, yeah, there's, the there's usually three rangers that are a bike that's also not out yet. Um, for me, I think it's either this one or the cargo one, and there is a racing one. That they, they are all mm. kind of cool, but until you, you kind of see them come out and what they're for, they do look a bit more off-roady. Mm. Than some of the other vehicles, which I kind of like, because the only other more off-roady one is the Dragonfly. But um, 
again being a vehicle it's going to be a running theme here today guys um anything that's a vehicle is kind of an earning game because they're ridiculously cheap and they especially if they're already yeah. out this might be an exception because it's not out but six months after they're out they basically go in game and you can earn them super quickly yeah all right um we kind of talked about the but, storm but, but you can see here the the final kind of price on that so it is going to jump by ten dollars so we did actually call it at eighty dollars yeah. our grid again mm. um so yeah uh, is there anything you want to add? Did you want to say something about the Ranger? Yeah, I was going to go something with the, the Ranger. Even even the Ranger, I still wouldn't recommend it. Like, even because if you buy it now, you're still not getting the LTI. The only real value of buying a buying something like this is for the LTI token. Yeah. Um, and that's passed. Yeah, you're right. And it's, it's not going to get LTI. What's the point? Yeah, that's it. If you, you know, that's the only reason you buy those small things is mm. the LTI token. Yeah, and you can um, obviously... I know a lot of people will say 120 month insurance is just as just as good but yeah. not really well you've got three options for lti tokens essentially now you've got the fury the mm. Lynx, and the storm uh just at different price mm. points and really it doesn't matter because it's all going to cost the same anyway so the smaller ones are generally better so probably get the fury um and upgrade up because then it gives you more flexibility yeah. in the future all right it we... gives you that opportunity for like if you're looking at the, the Lynx and the, the, well, the fury and the the storm there's a what a thirty five thirty dollar difference. So that's thirty dollars where you could get another possible war bond in there to reduce that price. So yeah. especially if you're just stocking them up for later and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So. All right, on to RSI. Uh, so yeah, as we said, they did this very pretty ad for the links. So let's have a quick look yeah. at the links. Um, yeah, they've really kind of up their marketing game with this one, as me and Algrid kind of alluded to. I don't know what this plate pause thing is. Oh, it spins, Algrid. Ooh, pretty. Um, I don't know. Where, where do you kind of come away with it, Algrid? I might have to refresh this to get the proper price. I know, I know your complaint is that it's got gold glass, not red glass, but, you know. Uh, maybe we'll get some skins. Let's have a look. We'll see what's down the bottom. But, um, um, it, it, it's in the V3 variant, but only yeah. one of them looked like it had the gold glass, so... So yeah, it kind of went up five dollars. So we went from fifty to five dollars. Well, but the other thing I'd put Chuck back to you, Algrid, how do you feel about selling a luxury vehicle technically at an Invictus sale? It kind of breaks their own law. It's the well, first time they've ever done it. Yeah. So, um, what's your yeah, take on that? Um, and that's a war bond that's fifty-five. You look yeah, at the so uh, normal yeah. So it went up. It went up by, it went up by ten. Yeah. So and uh, that that the game what I expected. So. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, we got some three different paints that are not very. Actually, let's have a quick with this. I'm. I don't know. I I find it a downgrade algorithm. I like uh, if you have a Phoenix, it's probably the only vehicle you would ever really want this to work with. I'm assuming algorithm, unless you can. Well, you have a different take. The, the Phoenix, you you get the you get the links with the Phoenix. It's it's part that's of the I mean. standard yeah. equipment. Um, you don't. If you've got a Phoenix, you don't need to buy one. You've got that. Um, so that's that's a very nice, nice addition. But if you've got an Ursa, um, in fact, if you've got a Phoenix, you might even consider upgrading your links to an Ursa or take you know taking it out and putting an Ursa in. So you um, might notice their algorithm. The the windows do change color slightly. So the these yeah. this and the Maroni one are kind of the same, but this white one. I think that's the one I like the yeah. most with the blue the blue, blue window. One. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, they almost look like different bottles of wine or something. The way they, could, especially this one, just yeah, burgundy yep. or whatever. I don't know. What's your which one of those do you like? Just off your own personal. I opinion? think I'd go the burgundy. To be honest, I was thinking I like the the um the gold the the gold tint on the white, but I got like the 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 burgundy coloring, but I do like the blue glass as well. So yeah, so that. Yeah. that that three skin pack, I can't see how that's that 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 first one's any different from the default, but maybe I'm. I think. Oh, it different. is no, it is slightly different. So the the fault is kind of like silver and white. That one is yep. all silver. Yep. So yeah, that's that's the difference. And the and the standard white fits with the standard white of the mm. of the um, Phoenix anyway. It'd be nice to see an emerald version of the Lynx, just so you could keep your Emerald Phoenix with an Emerald P72 with an Emerald Lynx, just to be, you know. But, yeah. So how do you... Uh, 
how do you feel about well maybe in the future Hagrid. um how do you feel about them selling the pack for both of them so you can you can actually get a ursa here and a link so i lost you and the rover oh you're back ursa and, ursa and a and a uh, links um is there a need for both people i really can't see a need for both personally i i yeah, I struggle but with that. I think so, it depends yeah. on what scanners they give the the mm. links. It gives people choice. Mm. Um, we might um, dwell into that a little bit more in the buyers, buyers guide then uh, that we'll record yeah, during the week. Yeah, there's an advantage. Yeah. There is an advantage because if you well, look at keep that, keep it, keep it. We'll save it for the buyers guide because I don't think there's going to be a lot well, to talk about. Kind of, you were saying, you, you I asked just me the don't. Question about the I know, but now I'm retracting it because I don't think there's enough to talk about in the buyers guide. Mm. We'll leave it for there. All right. Uh, let's move. Right, we'll save it to the buyer side because yeah. you're, you're probably right. It's, yeah. it's light on info. So, yeah. All but right. There is an advantage. I'll leave it with that. The Apollo, Algrid. Tell me about what your thoughts are on the Apollo. I've always liked the Apollo. Um, I, I've, I've, I've got to pin my colors to the wall. I am an RSI fan. Mm -hmm. If When people were, when everyone seemed to be a Drake fan, I was an RSI boy. I always was. Mm -hmm. So, there's something I liked about the RSI ships. They, they looked iconic, they were different. I hate whoever it was that said that the um, constellations were phallic because once mm. you saw it, you couldn't, couldn't see it. Um, the Apollo, I always thought, was a cut-down uh, Connie. Mm. I would love a Connie to look like that in terms of just yeah, it's a, bit a longer more, version. A bit more Star Trek-y. Um, so you get some extra additional hard points on the Medivac. Um, not much else. So um, it's hard, and I miss all hard points from memory. So I, 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 it is the better variant, um, but is it worth $25? Probably not. I do believe it's also supposed to have extra armor. So extra oh, armor, better, then, yeah, if it's extra armor, better armor. Yeah, that might be the way to go then. But yeah, you have to weigh that up for yourself. Uh, generally, yep. with armored ships, the armored one is usually the better way to go. All right. Um, the Aurora LN. Uh, we can prop notes. The only one. They didn't include any of the other Auroras. Uh, starter ship, really good value. Or you really need to play the game. I think that kind of covers it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Hmm. And yeah, and unfortunately, it doesn't get a, a. I don't think there is a starter pack for the LN. It's uh, you get the MR, yeah. but the the LN is by far the best Aurora package. The while it still has four weapon hard points like the MR, hmm. the missile rack on it is the best of all the of all of the um, hmm. uh, Auroras. All right, so, so we've got. Um... We've got four different um, constellations here. I think the best one is still the default variant, the Aquila. It kind of does a bit of everything. Andromeda. Uh, uh, the, what did I say? Aquila. Sorry. Yeah. Andromeda. Yeah. Um, the Aquila, I just think, has kind of been a bit superseded now by other explorers, and it, it's kind of showed its age. Uh, the Phoenix, well, just like Algrid, I think it really needs a bit of a rework. And uh, the Taurus... Yeah. Well, hang, hang, hang on, hang on, Aaron, I'm going to come back to you. And then the Taurus, I, I think, is uh, going to see its heyday when smuggling comes along. So, Algrid, your thoughts on those four, please. Uh, again, the Constellation is the old workhorse. It's it's the one which got the... It and the Taurus of ones with the complete missile arrangement, mm -hmm. which is a bonus for it. Um, it was the original. Mm -hmm. What more can you say? The Aquila loses um, its size one missiles, uh, but gets the uh, wor uh, wormhole, or not the jump point mapping sensors. Mm -hmm. uh, so they better be, better be bloody good, that's all I'll say. Mm -hmm. um, and it loses the top turret for the two size two scanners. That's correct, yep. Um, the Phoenix, the Phoenix is in a, in a ghastly place because it's still not, it's still not complete. Yeah. And it's not complete because it's supposed to have a third point defense turret yeah. as added. Um, I think it it'll take until we get a, a full gold pass, oh. don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got to wait. But, um, and if, if you take the stuff that they were talking about in that patch where they were talking about, you know, the articulating engines on the, the Connies as well, that raises a question again where are you putting that third turret? And we don't know. Um, so yeah, I like the Phoenix, but it's got issues. And the last one, the Taurus, um, you lose your P72 or your P or your P52. You've still got your full missile loadout. You've got increased cargo. 
But the really nice thing that they did add to this, which wasn't in the original specs, was the dorsal turret mm. is still there, as opposed to being the, the safe. And it has two size two tractor beams, and the safe or the secure area went to the back where the old um, docking collar for the P-72 or P-52 was. So especially if you... it's quite a unique... I was just going to say, especially if you picked it up at the original $150 price point, this mm. is a bit of a steal for the yep. price you got it for. So, yeah. Yep. All right. So, yeah. Well, but I like them. Back to the links, as Aragud said, with the full price at $60. So, yeah, I kind of, yeah, I think I think that kind of shows how much they really thought of the links because they're selling, it's the first time they've ever sold two new vehicles on the same day. And mm. I know you can turn around and say um, but the links is going you know, flight ready and, and and then you've got a new sale, but we've never had two. They never, I've never seen them do two ever because it, it you know, they stamp, they tread on each other. And I think they're knowing that the Lynx is just not going to do that well um, because it, it, it's, it, it is niche and it is essentially an, a, a downgrade because it just does less because you're paying for luxury. I think they're starting to realize people are getting a bit sick of luxury, them trying to sell luxuries up market and it's just not working. I don't know. I hope we've got yep. through to them because yeah, they need to make it do more to be valuable for that price. So yeah. All right. Well, now, oh. well if, you take, if you take the view with the links that it's supposedly like the Phoenix, mm -hmm. it should be up armored as well because the Phoenix was always supposed to be like your James Bond Good point. car, you know, armored, armored and all the rest of it. So if this is the same, I wonder if there's actually a delta extra armor, armor, extra protection, same weaponry. Um, Here we go. Let's have a quick look at this. Um, this is the brochure for it. Um, it does have a shield generator, life support. Doesn't say anything about armor. Yep. Seems and it probably pretty wouldn't. much yep. identical. Yep. Yeah, I don't but, think there is anything additional. But we'll look at we'll look deeper into that as we go into the buyer's guide. So that's what the buyer's guide is for. So yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh the Mantis our grid. Uh again, I think it's got those cool new looks of like the Apollo, like you were mentioning before. Um, yep. but it just just a little lackluster at the moment, just doesn't have the gameplay. Is that kind of where you'd be on it as well? And at its price point, again, it's just not another one we recommend. Like anything sub two fifty, you and I tend to shy away from a little bit, yeah. Especially yep. if it's a fighter. Yeah, and this is a fire without much teeth. It's got a mm. great little niche device. Um, I will say, if they haven't changed it too much, it is a ship that will keep you alive as much as it can. Um, mm. One of my early experiences was being, running into an asteroid, ripping off half a side, ripping off an engine, mm. not dying, being attacked by a pirate, having an engine shot off, still not dying. Mm. Um, but like a mantis, the second I tried to get out of it, it killed me. So. I do think um, we've yep. got another variant of the ship coming. Uh, they did find a Mantis oh, EMP in the code, uh, so it may come around. I, it, I was half and expecting an Invictus. It hasn't turned up, so maybe down the line we'll see another one, or maybe we won't see it at all. I'm just yeah, letting you guys know. I would love to see more variants of the Mantis. It is a lovely-looking ship. Hmm. All right, the Perseus, Badges' baby. Um, I like Those this ship. Just badges. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That just was actually meant to be here today, so it is kind of funny. Um, look, a good ship. I just think it's a little overpriced, especially when you put it right next to the very next one, which is the Polaris. Seventy-five dollars, and the ship totally doubles in size. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know, Agrid. I, I think I guess we can kind of pump these two together. But for me, I think the Polaris really does over overshadow yeah. the Perseus. Um, for me, it's going to be buy the Polar Polaris and earn down to the Perseus. Um, I don't know yeah. what your thoughts are on that. Let me know. I, I, I struggle with the, the price of the Perseus. I like the idea of the Perseus being the old ship that was kind of brought back after a battle and, and mm. Admiral Bishop says, yeah, you've got to put this back in because it was so awesome. Mm. Um, I've struggled with the idea that it is a long-range fighter. It's everything yeah. to me seems to say, yeah. the way they, divide, they said it was like a riverboat. I think that um, is, uh, you've got the na hit the nail on the head there. Again, I think this is a short range, heavy defense ship. And I think this is a long range, is a long range. offense. Yep. So they are, yep. they are completely at different angles to each other, but there's no reason you can't take one that's more expensive and earn down very quickly. So yep. um, that's right. yeah, that's um, right. I do like, I do like the Perseus, but at that price point that to me just says, yeah. 
It's like a $350, yeah. $400 ship masquerading a ship almost yeah. as, at twice the price. Yeah. And it, yeah, just again, you put it on, you go into a fleet viewer and chuck it down on a fleet viewer. And you look at the ships like it's this it's smaller than the caterpillar it you know it's about the same size yep. as the starfarer and once you start looking at it it's just like it does not up yeah um so yeah yeah it just it, you're paying for the you're pardon me you're paying for the two turrets or mm. the, the big guns yeah and this has only got four crew, this has got a minimum crew of four i think this is a minimum crew of eight so that kind of shows mm. you straight away that it is kind of double the size yeah and and i think the perseus has a max crew of seven so yeah, something like that. When you look at it that way, you know, your your max crew of your Perseus is your minimum crew for your Polaris. Basically. All right. The Scorpius. Um, and I've probably got an Antares here as well. Yep, we do. So we've got a Scorpion, a Scorpius, Antares. Um, I think we can put these two together, Algrid. Um yep. which, you know, I, I, I personally keep coming back to the hurricane. And me and Paul said as yep. much as uh, on An on Anvil Day. Um I wouldn't get this, I'd get a hurricane. Uh which yep. what? Yep, hundred percent. Well, it's the same thing you and I have said in the past. But yep. this is the next thing, it or a, a, a Star Fury. Mm. Um, it it appeals to that that movie or TV show mm. genre. Um, it is a cool looking ship. Yep. I cannot deny that. Mm. But when you're when you're flying it, you 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 know your gunner mm. is. As a pilot, because you've got the same weapons as your gunner, you don't really care. Whereas on a, on a hurricane, you are working more with your gunner, and it, yep. it feels like more teamwork rather than just. So. Yeah. Um, as for the Antares, I think it'll kind of have its heyday again, a little bit like the Mantis when more gameplay comes yeah. in. Uh, but but our grid, uh, we saw the Fury killing this now, so it's official. The Fury. <laughs> By synergy's logic, uh, you should buy this. The Fury is more powerful than this. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, I, I, again, I just keep coming back to the Hurricane. More powerful, small mm. footprint, uh, more armor. Um, this is definitely going to have to have some kind of rebalance down the road. So if you are getting yeah. it, don't stress that it's bad now. It's just that a lot of people buy ships for the now, and then they kind of worry that they kind of worry about the later. Yeah. Later. Uh, for me, if you like the look of this and look how it is, trust that. CRG will balance it, but it may take a couple of years before kind of release type right. of thing. And, and, and if you're worrying about, oh, they won't, it does have Robert's name on it. So yeah, is he going to let a ship that has his name on it be crap? Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and basically we, we, we've seen them balance multiple ships already and mm. everything's going to change yeah. from release again. But yeah. All right. The Ursa, uh, yeah. Comes free with a lot of ships. Um, Carrick to most of the constellations. Um, I think this is the the rover of where it's kind of at. I think this is, I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the most all-round vehicle in the game. Like it, it was one of the first and it still is one of the best. It does cargo, it carries four troops, so it acts like an APC and it's got guns on it. So it reaches out to things like the Spartan, which is, you know, double the troops, but more armor yeah. and more guns. It also now goes to the Lynx, you know, but the Lynx has less people and is more comfy. So it, it really shows the spot where this is at is kind of like in the middle. And I, I don't know, I think that's a really good spot to be. It makes it more versatile. Algrid, your thoughts? Yep. No, I've always thought it was the um, um, personal carrier. It's a light personnel carrier the spartan is better at, for that role just because your troops can wear the heavy armor it's, it's the only vehicle that they've designed yep. so far where the seats are designed for you wearing heavy armor mm -hmm. this one i imagine you'll be limited to your you know because the seats are smaller they'll they, they will eventually limit what you can wear um if you're sitting down in, in certain yep. seats and, it's, and it's... i think that's where you'll see the difference but this is a great little ship, great little vehicle. Yeah, and you can also uh, again, kind of mix and match in this, though. So you could have just two troops and some cargo, which, again, that that, that yeah. versatility thing just that really keeps coming back. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the other thing that's really nice about um, uh, the, the Ursa is the fact you don't need to buy it. If you've got a carrot yep. and a chromata or a um, Aquila, you've got an Ursa rover already. All right, we're not even halfway there. This is going to take a while. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Origin, uh, 125A, um, the kind of combat of those starter ships, Algrid. Um, I kind of find the 125A, and I believe this is going to be the, yep, 325A. We can probably do this together. Um, you know, for the price point, 
I, I think you and I kind of always said the 100 series is just not worth it. You're looking at $5 and you get to an Avenger, you know, um, or a 315P. So, it, um, you know, the Avengers has got more guns for $5. It's also got cargo. And then if you go into 315P, you go more into that, um, more into the cargo area. So for $5, you get a lot of versatility. Um, I think you'd kind of agree with me that 100 series is quite forgettable I... for me. Even if you're even if you're an Origin fanboy, um, sixty dollars versus seventy dollars for the three twenty five A. Yep. Why would you bother? Yeah, exactly. Um, Sums it up nicely. Three twenty five A is a much better, much better fighter. Mm. Um, the adva- I suppose the only big advantage you've really got with a one twenty five A is I think it does have more or less the same footprint, and I'd have to double check it as the uh, M- the um, uh, 85x, which means you could have two sit into the pads on an 890, mm. as opposed to one 325a. So, but then when you compare it with, say, the Fury, which you can get a lot more in, and that raises the whole question: if it fits, it sits, where are they going? So, mm. next. Interesting. All right. Um, 325a, the only. Yep. It is. Oh, there's not many origin. That's it. There's only the three of them. Um, and the G4. Sorry, what did I say? G G uh, G twenty five A is what I said. A, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I meant to say G twelve A. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So it's the only version okay. of the G twelve available today. But I think the default G twelve is the best variant um, out of the three variants because you've got the racing variant. Then the default has a turret, and then you've got this. And yeah. much like you said about the cyclone, I think this is kind of a nonchalant. Yep. I when it, when they first announced the G12, I thought this is awesome because mm. it looked like it looked visually it looked smaller than an Ursa. Yeah, it did. It looked like but a cyclone not. with two seats and a closed cab, and it turned it out did. to be as and big as an Ursa, but only two people. So it just no, it got got all this large. It's, it's it, wider than an Ursa. It is wider, but it sits on the same pad. It's the same uh, large vehicle, so, uh, sorry, yep. medium vehicle size, but yeah. But it won't fit in a in a Connie. Mm. So it, you you get that, and you're you're you, you're already limited in what you can put it in because it's got a wider base. So mm. to me, being the same size or bigger than an Ursa, and only being a cab for one, mm. might show a bit of the re- what, what's good. probably going to happen in reworks then in constellations that you know the model. Probably go back and re-metric a lot of the the, the, the older ships. I, I still I expect. Yeah, I, I I have I have postulated for a long mm-hmm. time that we will see the Connies get widened uh, to get that Phoenix rework, just so mm-hmm. that the Ursa fits properly, and that may mean that the G12 fits as well. But it's still not worth it. Just the single little consolidated Outland ship today, uh, the Mustang Delta. You don't see this too often. It, it really only comes around at AI and Invictus. Um, dumb fire missiles, and again, at the $65 price point when you can get an Avenger. Agrid, your thoughts? I, I think it's the Avenger. I'd have to take it over this. This is niche. You don't see it very often. It is a bit rarer, but it's not rare from yep. limited availability. No. It's just not chosen. It's just rare because it's not put out on the, the shops much. It's it's not really a great ship, in my opinion. But then I, I've got, to, I've got to be fair. The only Mustang I like is the Amiga, and that's only because it was unique and used to be really unique. Yep. It's now, and even the Amiga is now just a, a Gamma. Yep. With a, a different skin. Um, Let's hope they. This is a starter ship. Give them all the rework, Algrid, because they desperately need it. Uh, oh, but it's that pet peeve you and I have too, how they spent all that time and effort to make it so the ships couldn't land on the wings, and then the very next ship they yeah. bring out from Castle Outland is the Nomad that doesn't land; it just hovers. Yeah, we're, we're reworking this so you don't have to land on the wings, so it doesn't fall over. We're giving it landing gear, and that just yeah. changed. To me, that changed the niche idea of it, but yeah. that it did have. It was one the one thing I did like about it. It was kind of like the very first um, jets where you land on a landing skid. Yeah, but then I'm not a fan of consolidated. So yeah, all right. So we've got the MPUV C and the MPUV P. So a five dollar difference. Uh, Paul's like little favorite, my little favorite ship, oh. and our favorite ship. It's I like that they've got mm. it as a legendary freight shuttle. 
I'm going to be honest with you, Agrid. I don't think there's any real reason to pick up um, the personnel one because we know that they'll be interchangeable in game. So essentially, that's like a yep. module. Um, so really, just get the cheaper one and earn the other part in game when it comes out. And again, right now, this thing is kind of really locked to an Idris or a Javelin, and they're not in game yet. So again, it's just a snub at the moment that doesn't really yep. do much, a, a little bit like the Fury. So yeah. Anything want to add to that? Yeah. Or? Uh, you can you can do box missions on this thing um, if you take them on the same, if it's a box mission that delivers to the same planet. Yeah. Um, it takes a while, though. And it it's hard to navigate. It takes a... Yeah. Well, if you've got a box mission, it gives you the the, the thing to go to. But, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's hard to navigate. Um, I will say for the, the personal version, the personal cab on the MPUV is... Um, actually, an escape pod from a javelin. A javelin. Um, so it probably the same sh size sh pod. probably shows you uh, that in the future that they're going to have uh, pod recovery vehicles of mm. some sort, not yep. just javelin based. Ones, um, but, yeah. well, that, well, that's basically what the MPUV was. It was it's a recovery vehicle for those pods, and the pod that it has is actually the same pod that is used on the 890. They just doled up the interior. That's it. So there you go. SRV, I um I think the SRV is going to have a bit of a really cool period. I think it is going to kind of be the yeah. first steps into repair uh, because you can bring someone back to repair at a station. So I think that um is going to kind of be the very first steps. I, I know it's not exactly yeah. repair, but being the tow truck is still the first thing in, in, our, in the real yeah. world that we have, isn't it? You know, you get towed back to a garage and then they do the work at the garage. So, yeah. Well, it's a bit like... Paul's comment about, or not Paul's, it was the military guy's comment about the Vulcan versus the um, uh, Crucible. Yep. You don't take the Crucible into the front line. You send something that's more expendable, and a tow truck is mm -hmm. more expendable than a full workshop. So you send that out, pull the ships back to your repair point, and there we go. Right. But I do like Argo. I do like Argo. So That's the one thing one I favorite. forgot, to, the one thing I forgot to do on our rush hour was I didn't check for new paint. So I'm going to do that really quickly right now. Um, but yeah, the SRV I think will come back around. Um, it's going to take me too long to do. I can tell. <laughs> um, any new ones jumping out there? I got. I do not see them. I did notice Lynx paints. Yeah. That we looked at those earlier, though, if you remember. Um, I know. I was being facetious. Okay. Um, Happens when I'm tired. Yeah, we're both tired. I can tell. When you've worked with someone as long as me and Agrid have, uh, you start to notice when the other person's in a, a mood or whatever, and we're both very tired. It's, uh... so, so if we start snapping, you yes. know why. Yes, we're both snappy. <laughs> okay, I'll look for you on that one. Um, no, I don't see any new ones, Algrid, at all, unfortunately. Um, as you can see, though, they still have the, um, the blue steel concierge one in there, which is really weird. And they had another one down here earlier in the week, too. See, they've still got the Furies. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Um, Ooh, yeah. there's a new limited Invictus for the 100i, or at least that's back from last yeah. year. Um... Apologies for this taking a little long. There's a new Aurora one as well. It's also there's a, a const new Constellation one. Yeah, so there's an Aurora and a Constellation in blue. Sorry if this is taking so long. I didn't. I normally plan ahead, but I just didn't have There's a Mantle, Mantle as well. One. No, that's just the Stormbringer. I just realized. Oh, yeah. So they actually do. See, they go. They've got the Concierge skin uh, back for the Tyrion. Uh, sent there appears to be no, and make this pipeline skin. I was hoping it might be, but it doesn't appear to be. And then they've got the storm summit, so that's it. All right, so yeah, there's only really uh, the aurora and the constellation ones there, there's not really much else there. So I think that's kind well, of I it. Run the blue and gold on the aurora, that looked good. Oh, I've lost you on camera. Let's see if we get back, but yeah, that's been I'm just going to call it the the everything day. Re refresh camera one. That's what I'm trying to do. It looked like uh, I saw you. It looked like you were refreshing camera too, but yeah, which would have been normal because that's where I usually am. But yeah. 
all right so um yeah let us know your thoughts below in the comments below is there anything that you kind of picked up today um we will try and get a, a buyer's guide out on the weekend for the storm and links um i don't know it's um or maybe it's a first impressions for the storm and a buyer's guide for the links but um yeah. Yeah, I think you, if you've watched this channel long enough, you know what we're going to say anyway. But, yeah. if, um, if you watch our channel, you already know that the, the, the base advice is don't buy it. Mm. But we also like to put them out because people come back to them yep. at future dates and, and stuff like that. So it's Indeed. it's a resource. And, we, and when we do a buyer's guide, we don't just say, it, it, we do try to look at the, the pros and cons, which I know when we looked at the Fury, people said, <laughs> you know, <laughs> why? You're just going to say no. But it's it's looking at not only the price of why or why not, but also the advantages, disadvantages of that vehicle and, yeah. and trying to look at the pros and cons. So, and the utility of it, um, what it's actually going to be good for in game. Like, yes, it's bad value, but it doesn't mean it's a bad shit for when you can earn it in game. That's yeah. the other part of it, isn't it? So, yeah. No, and, and it's the same with, same with fighters. Like we always mm. say, don't, you know, don't buy fighters. Don't, you know, sell your fighters and all that Burn stuff. Them in game. It doesn't mean they're bad. Not, mm. It doesn't mean they're bad. And mm. and it's, it's looking at the value of a ship and how to use, you know, mm. So yeah, it's teaching you to be savvy shoppers is what we're doing, Agrid. I think. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, ring that notification bell if you really want to thank you for what we do here at these videos. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Um, and we are trying to get to fifteen thousand um subscribers by the end of Alien Week. And if if we get it before we get to Alien Week, we're going to buy you guys a Solian to give away as a thank you. Um. I'll be honest though, at the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to track there because we're, we're no, going fairly it, slow. It, it, it looks like we're safe, you know. It, mm. it, we probably could have even said, hey, it'll be a javelin or, or uh, would have been. Yeah, that's safe. what we should have done. Algrid will give away his third javelin. There we go. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not doing that to you. I'm just, no, I'm just teasing. Sorry, I, oh, man, I reckon, I I reckon, some, people, I reckon you know, some people I reckon some people come out of the woodwork just to see that happen, Algrid. <laughs> I said, I said they're giving away a javelin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then. And, and, um, and there'd be people who would say we promise so we've got to do it, you know. Yeah. But so me and Aragon not our side. Me and Aragon get out of here. We're going to have two hours off, and then we'll be kicking off a live stream. So we'll be doing. We'll see you guys if you've seen this by then. Uh, yep. We'll be about three hours from the second I stop hitting record. So with that, he's been Algrid. He's been executed. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care.